Today, we master the art of the contour. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Mythical beast, welcome to another season, season 10 of Good Mythical Morning. Woo! We are so glad to be back, and we're so glad that you are here with us, making us a part of your daily routine. Yes. Contouring. <laughs> I, I am very familiar, not very familiar, yes. with contouring. Uh, it is a, it is a, a, a it you're is an so approach. familiar with it that you're really trying to think of it, what it is. It is an approach to make upping make, your, make upping. yourself that uh, creates dimensionality. Yes, it does. To your face, it's all the rage uh, these days. But before you blend all of that contouring stuff together, you kind of look like a, a swamp monster or like a graffiti. Art and wall. it isn't just on the face. Any what? part of your body that's got muscles can be contoured, contoured? and become epic. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen today. We're going to make our bodies and our faces epic. Come with us on a journey of contouring as we try to figure it out on each other's bodies. It's time for the Contour de France. Okay, we're going to get started with facial contouring. I will be the artist. Link face will, will be, be the my face. canvas. The principle of contouring is that you want to add darkness to the things that you want to de-emphasize and lightness to the things that you want to emphasize. Yeah. So, Mr. Neil, what would you like to emphasize today? I'd love for you to narrow my nose. I'd like for it mm. to be pointier. Yes, I've heard that's a common request. Maybe bring the cheek thin. What else do you want? I'd really love for you to reduce the forehead. Okay, so. I'm going to be following an online contouring guide, which will guarantee beautiful results. Oh, really? So the first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the concealer that's slightly lighter than your skin in a pattern that I'm cheating off of. Oh yeah, the ridge is coming up. Right on the nose, and then we're gonna make a nice mushroom shape right on the forehead. Oh, that's really nice. That is super nice. Wow. Look at that. And now we're gonna get right under the eye and then into that nostril and into that nostril. <laughs> Thank you. This isn't typical, but today I'm feeling lucky and I'm gonna just connect these <laughs> because that seems like the right thing to do. Feels like you're creating a racetrack around I, my eyes and nose. A lot of people don't do this, but every time I pass the nose, I like to go in the nos. <laughs> in the what? In the nos. That's what we call it in the biz. <laughs> don't You don't want to miss those. And then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to come right across here. And I do like to go into the mouth, though. No, oh, no. <laughs> come on. I do like to go into the mouth. <laughs> you failed beauty school, man. <laughs> and you really want to get the... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, looking really, really good. Wow, as you can see, it's really shaping up. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a slightly darker contouring color and apply it to the places you want to shadow. So you're reducing my forehead now. I can feel that happening. Yeah, really, you're just gonna get so small. And I'm gonna come back down and say, hey, little brown snake. Hey, little brown snake. <laughs> little brown snake. And I'm not talking about Dookie. And you gotta have, hey, little brown snake. People are gonna be asking, <laughs> What did Rhett get into over the break? You really want to get the bottom of the chin because nobody likes that naughty chin. <laughs> and now I want to really get that nose. Just sharp it up, sharp it up, sharp it up. And then sharpen it up, sharpen it up, sharpen it up. And come right across the front, right across the top. Close your eyes and it's a little baby brown snake. You can't just have one, gotta have two. Yep. Perfect. Can we call this the brown snake tutorial? And then a little teeny brown snake, you want to cross right there on the ridge, make that ridge, and we're done with step two. How do you feel? I'm questioning a lot. Now I'm going to take this brush, and I'm going to just spread the lighter color out so it almost touches the darker color. You want to get it right up there next to it, bring it in everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> okay, now I'm moving on. Now I'm going to use this brushy brush to do a little blendy blend. Sometimes you just want to grab the hair and just pull it back. Just want to do a little blendy blendy blendy. Circular motions, just like you're brushing your teeth. Yeah, looking so good. If there's an especially big Adam's apple like there is in this case, you just want to really emphasize that. I forgot that earlier. I just want to draw a big brown snake circle around it. 
Yeah, just really bringing it out. Making so, it pointier? Perfect. Okay, and there's a little circular motion around here. You're pushing so hard on my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me look at me. <laughs> you look amazing. Do we have a mirror for the man? <clears throat> You know, it's not that bad. <laughs> and then from this point, then you would apply your normal makeup and you will look fantastic. Even though a lot of times I just tell people to stop right here <laughs> and go on and go to the club right now. You know what, let's stop right here. Hello, Mr. Rhett. First, I'm gonna ask you to remove your shirt. You know, you're going out to the lake I How'd you know? I am. And so the buffness has to pop more than it is now. No offense, but I can make you cut in less than 10 minutes. So what kind of chest do you want? I want a buff one, man. Like a C or Double D. D? Double okay. D, I want a double D chest. And what about in here, what do you want? I want it to look like there's muscles there. I'm gonna start up here with some darkness and give you the chest crevices. Okay. So it's gonna start here. What in the world right, right is there. happening? And then, yeah, that helps. I trust giving, you. Well, I'm, I mean, it, it could be here, but I I'm trust giving you more. Are you going to the lake as well? Did I'll go to a different lake than you, but, but yeah. did you hear about uh, Butch? Butch? Yeah. What happened to Butch? <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a new jet ski. Oh, yeah. And then, look, this crevice goes all the way down to the <laughs> belly button. <laughs> That's, I'm sensitive in there, man. Now, give me a flex. <laughs> all right, so I can imagine one of these. What? Mm. <laughs> and then again, on the other side here. Are you doing lightning bolts? Yeah, man, that's cool. And then here. Okay, making it look like a big stitch. <laughs> and here we go, right here, this is gonna work. I'm like a superhero. <laughs> now I'm gonna switch to the highlights. Oh, please do. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> it tickles me so much. And then. Uh, let me take this out of here. Yeah, wait, bring it up here. Yeah, be a so fish again, in here. Mm -hmm. There's too much hair. We should have shaved that first. Oh. And then here. <laughs> it's, it's really tickly down there. Here. <laughs> yeah. I really think I'm doing you a favor. Can you do this every morning? Let's see the results first. Okay. It looks like you're going to war on the lake shore. Oh, looks really nice. And you really want to lose the nipple. <laughs> oh, nipples are distracting, yeah. right? <laughs> Men shouldn't even have them, really. They're vestigial. They don't, they don't make sense. So that's gone. They're not needed. That's gone. Get rid, not get, there anymore. Get rid of those nipples. I de-nippled him. He's not gonna cross me anymore. What about in here? The nipples are the home of the sex drive. What? <laughs> All right, so. You know what? You could just stop right here. I mean, if you I'm get, not gonna stop because I if you need a bleach. If you're legally blind, you could really be fooled by this. This is like a He-Man character at this point. <laughs> He-Man got some obliques. The difference between He-Man's voice and Adam's voice was very oh, gosh. incredible. I caught a little bit of the likeness because I went into the likeness by accident. Now you're mixing. Oh, okay. Whoa! As you can see, <laughs> this is this is working, I'm man. I'm never working. I haven't out. even blended I'm yet. I'm never working out again, man. Let me blend it. You don't even need to, but if you feel like you need to, go for it. Oh, yeah. That's real good. I'm blending this, man. Paparazzi gonna be coming out on the jet skis, man. <laughs> Yo, it's so ticklish. That's good uh, stuff right there. Yeah, wow. I have really done you a favor. <laughs> wow. How's that? It's just something a little bit... Right here? You, the, the reason, I don't know why you put in a line that goes out right there. You did the opposite line that you needed to do down there. That shouldn't do that. That should be like this. You should come back in and get that because I'm, I'm going to take this look onto the town, man. Like, like that? You know that V that guys who work out have? Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. As long as you don't see the actual shaking happening, it's pretty good. Yeah, now maybe put your arm out. See you at the lake. No, you gotta do one there too. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put a line in there, man. You gotta give me a bicep. Put it in right, yep. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's good, just like that. <laughs> See me at the lake. Wow, those abdomens, man. Well, I think we found our new looks, man. Have fun on the jet ski. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Lexi. And I'm Dasha. And we're at Virginia Beach, and we're on vacation.
and it's time to spin the wheel mythicality. New season of GMM means new season of GMC. That's Good Mythical Crew. Check out this coming Saturday's episode where you can see our crew experiment with some conjuring techniques on none other than Hannah Hart. GMC every Saturday morning, but right now click through to Good Mythical More where Rhett is going to wipe my slate clean and do the clown contouring makeup to it. But not before Rhett delivers the wrong pizza. Waiting for my pizza. I said we'll be here in like 20 minutes. Mushrooms and pig anus. Uh, that's Did you not... order mushrooms and pig anus? No, I don't like mushrooms. Oh, I heard you're like, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that can be arranged. I like how he would call things happy accidents. Like whenever he would screw up, he'd be like, well, that's a happy accident. Let's see how I can turn that into something. Like that poop spot is becoming a cabin. 